Hello, everyone. I'm Richa. I'm a software engineer at Google, and I'm here to talk about safer upgrades with mixed version proxy. We all know uh, that upgrading our Kubernetes clusters is essential, uh, but it can also be a nerve-wracking process. Imagine that you have a HA Kubernetes cluster that you're trying to deploy a critical update to. And while you're doing that, uh, you deploy certain pods that get scheduled on a node that's still talking to an API server that's still running on the older version, so it's not yet upgraded. And suddenly, your deployment fails. Your application starts throwing errors, and uh, you're scrambling to find out what went wrong. Uh, when you're upgrading your Kubernetes cluster, and especially a HA Kubernetes cluster, you have API servers running at multiple versions. And this mixed version state, it creates uh, some uncertainty. There's uncertainty about when you make a request to such a cluster, whether it will reach the right API server, which knows about the requested API and the requested resource. Uh, and is that API server even able to process correctly the request? Without this version awareness, uh, the request can land at the API server, which is still at the older version, maybe, which does not know about the requested API. And you'll see 404 not found errors happening um, randomly throughout your upgrade process. Uh, you, this can lead to like application disruptions, requests failing midway, uh, causing application downtime, stall deployments, deployments failing uh, because of version incompatibilities, data inconsistencies, data loss happening because of API version mismatch. So to address this, uh, we have created an alpha feature called Mixed Version Proxy uh, in version v uh, v1.28. Uh, in here, we ensure that the request that you make to a cluster that's being upgraded uh, reaches the right API server that's able to understand the requested resource. You get intelligent request routing, uh, which ensures that your requests are reaching the correct API server, even in a mixed version state and you get reliable and uh, smoother upgrades. So how does this work? Before we jump into understanding how the feature itself works, I just want to make a note that whenever a request reaches a Cube API server, it has to go through the handler chain that exists within the API server. This handler chain is nothing but just like a collection of handlers. The request will make its way through the auth, authentication handler, eventually making its way down to the end where we have created a new handler called the uwip slash the mixed version proxy handler. Uh, and here's a user making a request to, to an API server, uh, first passing through the authentication handler, uh, verifying its identity there, and now eventually landing at the uwip handler. Think of this uwip handler as an intelligent uh, traffic controller for your API requests. It knows what all API servers are running in a cluster at a given time and what resources each of them serve. So when the request makes its way to this handler and this handler uh, signals that the request is able to be served by the local API server, uh, the request is just made to pass on to the next handler in the local chain and the data is eventually returned back to the user. If, however, the handler identifies that the local API server is not aware of the requested resource, it will automatically find an uh, API server that is able to serve that requested resource, and it will automatically reroute your request to that API server, uh, to that API server's handler chain, where it will go through that API server's handler chain, establishing auth through request header authentication, and data is eventually returned back to the user. So how can you use this feature? Um, you need to first ensure that you're running Kubernetes version 1.28 or higher. You will need to activate the feature gate, because uh, this is alpha, uh, the feature gate being a known version interoperability proxy. You'll need to set this to true when you're starting up your Kube API server. Uh, you'll need to configure API server authentication using the PRCA file flag, which enables secure communication between the API servers through the upgrade process. And finally, you will need to specify API server network information uh, using the pure advertise IP and the pure advertise port flags while you start your Kube API server so that uh, the API servers know how to find each other. Uh, looking ahead for this, uh, for this feature, we want to ensure um, more accurate version matching. So we will be incorporating compatibility version info from uh, both the clients and the servers, uh, to also include that as a factor while trying to decide when to route the request to which API server. Uh, 
this should ensure and minimize the risks of any compatibility issues between uh, the clients and the servers. Uh, yeah, that was all about the mixed version proxy feature. Uh, I hope you guys give it a try and it comes useful to you in your next Kubernetes upgrade. Uh, please do try it out and share any feedback. Thank you.